Okay, let's talk about how to create holes in objects in Maya. So I'm going to start with a cube, and I'm going to kind of present a lot of different ways, kind of pros and cons of doing things. But I'm just going to start with this cube. I'm going to give it some divisions. So I just selected an object mode, and in the channel box, uh, subdivision width, height, and depth, and middle mouse drag to the right here, give it some divisions. Okay, now I can hold down tab, and I'm going to select some faces here, hold down tab, select some faces here, and then I'm going to go to circle eyes, okay, and that created obviously, you know, these circles here. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete, and then I'm going to select, double click on this edge, shift double click on this edge, and then bridge. Now I can see that that's kind of a flat slide right now, so I'm going to add some divisions on that but it's still a flat slide, so I'm gonna switch my curve type to blend, and there we go, okay? Now, one thing that I wanna point out is I never like to have these poles kind of hitting the edge of the circle. Sometimes if I press three, I can see that it can kind of like pull up in those areas. Um, so what I'd rather do, I'm just going to select uh, these, Okay, and then I'm going to shift greater than to, to select like all of that inside. And then I'm going to go to extrude, and I'm going to grab the blue arrow and just extrude a little bit. And I like to give it that buffer zone. So now we can see that um, there's a nice clean runway around those circles. So now if I press 3, I feel like I'm going to get kind of like um, cleaner edges. Okay, so I feel like that's one kind of hole. I mean, that's kind of, um, um, I don't know, maybe a, a unique way. I feel like it looks cool, but I feel like maybe the practicality isn't the highest. Um, so another way that I can do this is, let's say if I want a hole in an object, I'm going to start with a cylinder. Okay, so this is probably going to be a little bit more practical, um, where, okay, I want there to be a circle in the cylinder. Now, sometimes circle shapes can be hard to make, and that's kind of changed since Maya has introduced circle eyes. But let's say if um, if they didn't have that. Now what I could do is I could select all of these edges and extrude, pull that out like this. It might be saying, well, Dave, that's not good because it's just creating another circle. What I can do is from the top view, right click, go to vertex mode, drag select over all of these vertices, and then scale perpendicular like this. And what that's going to do, it's going to make a nice straight line. And my kind of my motto is I'm not scared of straight lines. I'm scared of circles. Okay, so now what I could do is I could grab this. I can hold down tab. I can highlight that and highlight this. And maybe before I do anything, I'm just going to go like this, extrude and extrude in just a little bit like that. I'll give myself that little kind of cushion there. Hit delete. And now once again, I can select this and this and simply bridge. Okay, great. So, and then I can press three. And there I've got another hole in that object. So that's good. Um, and let's say if it was a complex hole that was a unique shape. Let's say like a heart shape, okay? Well, what I could do is I could go to create polygon, uh, I'm sorry, um, create polygon, uh, let me see, here it is, um, create polygon. You can see I don't use that tool too often, but um, I'll go ahead and use, I'll click on that. And now if I click and I can hold down X and you can see it'll snap it to the grid. And now I can just kind of draw whatever shape I want. Let's say a heart. Oop, I think I, hold on here, let's see. So if I go X, oh, maybe I'll just do a simple little heart.
Okay, there we go. And um, now, okay, I've got this kind of this uh, object here. Now I could select these edges, double click on the edges, and then extrude, and just kind of pull that out just a little bit like that to get it going. And just like with the other one, I'm not going to be concerned about the um, straight edges, or I'm not going to be concerned about anything. I'm just kind of working to try to get a straight edge. So you can see here, maybe I, I scale that to be a straight edge. And then maybe I select this again, or maybe I'll, you know what, maybe I'll, I will leave this one down here to just have kind of an equal border. And then I'll select, um, let's see, this edge, and I'm going to extrude one more time. And on this one, I'm going to grab, let's see, this vertice here and kind of pull that up. And then I'll select again at a mesh extrude. Okay, now I have something that I can kind of work with where now what I could do is I can grab these vertices, scale them straight, kind of move over like this, and then I'll grab these scale them straight, move over like that, grab these, scale them straight, and then same with these, grab these, scale them straight, move it down. And you can see what I did was I started with uh, what's going to be the negative space, and um, here it is. I can delete that, and now I can just simply select this whole object, Edit Mesh Extrude and kind of even pull that up like this. And if it's a black, I'm just going to go Mesh Reverse. And that's going to kind of reverse the direction. And now if I press 3, I can see that I've got this, um, once again, a, a more kind of complex shape. I'm going to go to um, Modify Center Pivot. Okay, there we go. And you can see here I've got that. Now let's say if I wanted to kind of hold that shape a little bit better, if I press 1, if I put edge loops in, so if I press um, 3, if I put tight edge loops like this, I can see that if I press 3, I can see that that held the bottom of that heart, you know, kind of uh, tighter. There it is. And if I want to hold this tighter, you can see that if I put an edge loop here, and here, now it's going to hold that tighter. And if I wanted the edges held, I could put an edge loop here and here, and then maybe also around it. So I can see that here's here's a problem. I don't necessarily want it to go into the heart like that. So what I might do is, um, you know, look at grabbing this and you know, kind of going around there like that. And now if I do this, if I do a small extrusion, okay, and now if I press 3, I can see that um, that might start helping. But another way, I feel like really actually what I need to do, I think I need to actually do this. I'm going to just select like this end and this end. And I'm going to extrude up this way. Um, OK, there we go. And I'm going to do the same down here. Edit Mesh, Extrude. And what, what this is doing is it's helping it uh, kind of get away from those edge loops kind of going into the um, the heart there because I want to kind of maintain the integrity there. And now I'm going to kind of extrude the side out as well. And I could actually, I guess, do both of them at the same time if I wanted to. I could just kind of go like this. And now I can kind of pull that out like that. There we go. And now I have, um, I can see these corners are now trapped there. So now what I should be able to do is put an insert edge loop cleanly out here and cleanly there, and that's going to hold my edge, and it's not going to affect my heart. 
Okay, so now, there we go. Now if I press three on this, there we go. I'm getting a really nice heart shape, um, defined heart, and the this is actually a nice smooth shape. Okay, other things that I could do, let's say if I wanted kind of a lot of holes next to each other, I could also do something like this. Maybe start with a cylinder. And a lot of times what I do is I'm going to say, you know what, I want to work paper thin right now. So I might start with something like that. And actually for this example, I'm going to just take this and give it less divisions. Maybe something like uh, 8 is fine. But any divisions would work. I can delete that. And now I can select this in object mode. Maybe modify center pivot. Maybe look at this from the top. And I could do Shift D. And Shift D is going to kind of give me um, a perfect spacing. And then I could do Shift D this way. There we go. Something like that. And now I'm going to turn on wireframe on shaded. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these. So before I can connect them, I'm going to select them all and go Mesh Combine. Now I'm going to go to append a polygon and I'm going to append across like this. Okay. And you can see that I'm just taking the time to do each one of these. Fill in the center. And then as far as the outside goes, I'm just going to go like that and like that. And actually right here, so I'm, I'm trying to create a nice border kind of around it. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So if I go like this, there we go. Now if I select all of these edges, and if I go to Edit Mesh Extrude, pull that out like that, you can see that I've got kind of this nice runway around it. Okay. And the other thing, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select all these. Like I said before, I don't want any of these kind of weird pulls hitting my circle at all. I want to protect my circles. So I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to go to Extrude, and I'm going to just extrude just slightly in like that. Okay, great. That's going to help protect the integrity of my circles. I'll delete it. Now if I select all of this, Edit Mesh Extrude, I can pull that down, or pull, pull this up, it doesn't matter. There we go. Um, and now if I press 3, once again, I've got really nice circles um, in that shape. So, and I, sh I should mention, uh, you might be saying, well, Dave, what about Booleans? Okay, well, let's just talk about Booleans really quick. So if I go to Create Polygon Cube, um, if I select this, and then if I did Create a cylinder. Okay, and if I put this cylinder in here like this, and maybe I want this to go all the way through, I could go like that, like this. And now what I could do is I could select this, shift select this. So if I go to Boolean, and I'm just going to select that, and if I go to, let's say, difference, you can see that what it did is it, it cut through. Okay, now I kind of don't like that because of the geometry. It ends up is bad, and um, so that's why I kind of prefer doing it these other methods. But if you were doing something like three D printing, or if you were going to clean up the topology afterwards, um, this might not be too bad. One way that you could kind of clean this up, at least so it's not weird end guns, is you could go to um, triangulate, and then you could triangulate this as well. Um, so that that can be kind of one um, fix. At least it's not going to give you any problems, but I feel like you might have more control doing holes this way. But I feel like that's a common question that I get is how to kind of create a hole in a shape. And sometimes I think if you start thinking about the negative space first and then work out from there, um, you'll have kind of some better results. But in some cases, you may need a Boolean, but I feel like just make sure that you clean up your Booleans afterwards. 
Um, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe.